guys, and today I thought I'd do a different type of video. I thought I'd go over my recent collection for the Dragon Ball card game. As you guys know, uh, well, a few of you will know that I actually play this game, and I've been very lucky with my pulls and that stuff recently, so I thought I'd kind of go over stuff. Like, I'd go over type of rarity types within the game, so it's like if anyone ever gets interested, you'll know, oh, this is good, or this is good, eh, that's alright in me, right? Just, I'll go over that type and then I'll go over my own collection as is. The best way to compare certain things right now, let's take this 16 and this 16. Right, so these are both the same cards. However, there are three main rarity types that people are usually after, which is an SPR and an SR, right? And the other one is Secret Rare, but we'll get into that. But yeah, these are usually the money cards that a lot of people want to watch out for is the SRs and the SPRs. 16 turns out to be the most expensive one in the set, going for about 23 quid SPR and 14 to 13 quid SR, which is actually pretty mad. Like, not gonna lie. And here we have my uh, foil leaders, basically leaders that are foiled. They got like a, I got lucky enough to give them that shiny touch. Um, I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice, but these two are probably my favourite leaders. Uh, just the Goku, it's very, you know, it just looks great. And it, you know, you remember the movie, you know what I mean, after Android 8 died. And then this one, the stamped uh, Android 21, I think this looks awesome. I actually use this deck, so I was happy when I got this leader stamp. So, yeah, it looks pretty balling. Um, so essentially what I'm going to be doing in this video is kind of just showing off cards and kind of letting people know what is good and what isn't right now. Um, I got this pan, right? Now, a lot of people are after this pan right now because the two most busted decks right now are Baby, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, oh no, sorry, Goku, and there's a little other ones. Like, the new set has a lot of great leaders, right? But the main one that people are running right now are Baby, and people need pan and Super Saiyan 4 Goku for that deck. Um, but yeah, it's just Pan's a great card. She basically puts something in active mode after it swings, so it can swing again. It's very busty because with uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Heartfelt Cleat, it just gets really nasty. Like, genuinely, it's one of the dirtiest plays I've ever seen. Now, it's still one of my favourite decks to run. I haven't run Broly in quite the while, but man, I just, I just love the art in these. I think they look amazing. But I, uh, I think I'll go over my SPR collection first. I just kind of wanted to show what the SRs are like. These aren't all my SRs, but uh, I just want to kind of get an idea across of how much they're kind of needed or, you know, it's just they're kind of important. That's the way the SRs are. Uh, next, I'll go to one of my favorite commons that are foiled is definitely the Sproly. Oh god, like, I, I loved uh, playing the Broly deck and having one of these foiled was just mad. Whenever I searched my deck for one, I would always pick up this one because the Shine Touch is actually just amazing. And the card itself is quite busted back in the day. I wouldn't say now, I don't think it'd be able to keep up with the way the card game is now. I'd have to update my deck a lot. But yeah, this Broly used to be really good. He basically took two lives, played them, swang with them, took a life, killed them. And you play the bigger Broly. Now, these are my favorite promos, right? Now, my favorite promos consider mostly Broly, but uh, yeah, this Broly is actually tough to come across because you need to open up dash packs, which you only get from buying a box, by the way. So, yeah, I have four of these because I've been trading like mad. These you only get from the championship pack, so during qualifiers, this is the only time you can get them. The event packs, this this really just looks amazing. They're going to be adding a rainbow touch to the next event packs, and it's just like, I can't wait. Uh, this Vegeta in the back, I do like this one. He was like one of my go-to staples for a, uh, a card that would take life whenever it swung, because I didn't really have any at the time, and the finish touch on this just looks amazing, so like I just couldn't not run it at the time. But obviously I've got better things now. Now, there was one more rarity that they added to the set, which was the heroes and the villain rares. Now, the art are personally my favourite, but they go for like nothing. They are very available in the market, you can literally pick them up. And the thing is, it's just, I don't get it, it's like, this is only like a pound to 50 pence now, this is only like a pound. And I'm just like, but the art it looks so good, like dare I say it looks better than this, you know what I mean? 
But yeah, this uh, Goku is pretty good. He works my deck. How he works is you kill three tokens, play them, swing with them, then you tap four energies to give them triple strike and you can combo from your energy, which is mad in these types of decks because you usually have like eight cards in your energy. You just fucking grab them all and get it on the card. So yeah, it's a, it's a neat ass card. Now I was thinking if you guys wanted me to do a deck profile one day, I'll definitely do that and I'll be going over my uh, Android 21 deck. But yeah, this one is also neat. I hardly use this one because Goku is way better. All she does is she comes on, you get rid of one of your energies and you get to wipe the board of anything that's four costs or less. This is great against baby aggro, however it's terrible against anything like Broly because Broly just needs to leave the field and then he gets to play a bigger boy. So yeah, it's like one of those ones where it's pretty dumb to do something like that. Now, the last ones I want to go over, well the last few I want to go over are these ones. These are all my stamped uh, cards that I got from the pre-release. This I could not care about. This is a great alternate to my leader because like remember the 21 over here, where is she? 21, there we are, the 21, same thing, same treatment here. Uh, we got this Yamcha, which you know, he's pretty godlike. Uh, Dr. Rero. Yeah, that was the thing about the new set. So it was mixed with Android 21, Dr. Rero, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, what was the other ones again? I think it was. Uh... Oh, yeah, Baby, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and the uh, Kaioken Goku from the Dr. Rero movie. So they mixed a bunch of shit in with this set, definitely. Oh god, I just picked up the cards. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Snappa. Trunks, great baby, happy holidays, uh, Goku, I trade for this, and a judge promo. Judge promos, you get those if you uh, basically judge the entire setting, but I didn't, I just kind of asked for a pack and they gave me one, and I was just like, that's great. These cards are kind of like a gold medal, if you will. You get these whenever you come first, or if there's a qualifier, you get them for coming in top eight. Um, it's just, uh, it's kind of like a symbol of saying, hey, yes, it's going to regionals, boys. But, you know, that's never happening. Let's be honest, I don't want to leave my house, never made the fucking country. <laughs> Bye, now we're getting on to the, the real meat of the video. <laughs> the secret rares. Oh, man, the are on these bad boys, that's all I'm saying. So, the secret rares are very hard to come by. However, they are very, very worth it. Either placing in a deck or placing in a, just in general, they kind of work in most decks. The whole point of this, there meant to be a final solution. If any of your plays didn't work, this was the main play that always worked, which was playing your secret rare. Um, they all look great. As you can tell, they got a new finish within the, uh, the new set right here compared to the set before it. But yeah, it's like this one is probably one of my favorites. And Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I hardly get to play him, but whenever I do, I usually do win. He's, he's that busted. All right, I guess it's time to go over the pricings of these bad boys. So this Vegeta, he goes from about 150 to 200, depending on the website you use. The baby, he goes for about 130, 120. He's just genuinely a very good card, and a lot of people are playing baby right now, so they're like, gimme. Give me, give me, like this is their main card to be taken right now. And this one, this goes for about 80 to 100. The price is starting to raise because a lot of people have been playing red and green recently. So a lot of people have been needing this card. I genuinely love it. I use it in my Balma deck. Balma is very fun to play with this type of secret rare. Uh, essentially what it does is you crit a life from your side and any opponent has to crit too. So what I would do is turn five, if my opponent's on two health, play that, crit a life, I win. That's 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 how it usually goes whenever I play this guy. Uh, it's great. With the Vegeta, I usually play him in my Android 21 deck, and I usually need to get really lucky uh, that I draw him, or if my opponent hasn't already destroyed my energy. And then the baby, I have not made a deck based upon the baby yet, so he's just kind of chilling right now. Kind of just chilling like a villain. I guess we may as well go through all of my SPR. So we got Android 16 repping it the most. Uh, we got this Golden Vegeta, I don't really care. I got this Frieza, this was my first ever SPR, so it's really stuck with me. And it just looks awesome. It's got like the comic book style, like the it hats. I think it's great. Its ability's great, but I have no idea because I don't really play Frieza. 
Uh, we have this SPR Beerus Ball. This Beerus Ball is actually pretty busted. You kill something, then your leader gets plus 5k for the rest of the turn. And then you got this uh, Super Saiyan for Son Goku, a Heartfelt Plea. Great card, it kind of works in any deck. All you need to do is get rid of a red card with 25,000 and then just play it when you awaken. It's very strong, it's triple attack. It's got Offering, which is the new ability where you either decide to crit a life or draw two. It's very good, it's very, very good. And then you have this Android 18, she lets you search. <laughs> I got very lucky with the Beerus Balls. This Broly is probably one of my favorite cards, I'm not gonna lie. You bring him out for two, he makes it so your opponent can't... And whenever he goes to combo, you can choose one card from their combo per turn. And that's very good because it's like if the opponent forgets about the ability, you can just tell HA! LOL! And then you just get rid of their card and you win. And then we got this SPR Paragus. It looks great. I like the rainbow finish on it. If, like, if you see it, you can like see the nice wee rainbows on the sparks. By uh, look at that, look at that Broly in the back. But yeah, Broly used to be one of my favorite decks. I don't know. Them. And then I got this SPR Gohan. I've never used them, but he does look great. He, he still rep, you know. What I mean, he still looks amazing. But yeah, I can't wait to sort all this out. I need to put them back into their fucking decks now. But yeah, I guess that's mostly what I want to go over, either rarity wise or kind of what I've been getting. And I'm hoping that this guy that, that's at least interested you guys for me to make like a bunch of videos going over my deck profiles like I have a bunch of decks like uh, just like over to my right here and I had to take them apart so I can kind of go over this so I'm kind of hoping that this does well otherwise if not I'll just start doing tech or some shit but yeah sorry guys if I've been uploading I've just kind of needed a break I've been legit just lying in my bed most of the time and I can't be fucked with much so yeah, I'll probably get back into it. But yeah, this is what I've been collecting. I've been lucky for packs. There's no way I would have bought these on their own. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.